Are you coming to Bonaire to shore dive? Do you plan on diving Vista Blue? Would you like some tips, tricks, and other information that'll make your experience easier and more enjoyable? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video. And we're doing it right now. Hey folks, Liz and Kevin here at Vista Blue, a phenomenal dive site here in the southern end of Bonaire. It's actually Liz's favorite dive site, and we're going to tell you all about it. But first, if you're new to our channel, uh, my wife Liz and I, we love to travel, especially to sunny tropical locations where we can scuba dive. We've got a particular passion for the island of Bonaire and the freedom the shore diving here allows. This is another in our series of videos about the different dive sites here on Bonaire. In these videos, we cover the best places to enter and exit the water, give an overview of the entire site, both in the water and out of the water, some navigational tips, and a lot of other fun information. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, we'd love to have you join our community, so please subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be made aware of when we have new information for you to enjoy. But right now, guys, it's all about Vista Blue, and this is a beautiful dive site on the southern end. It is a marked dive site, so you'll find a yellow rock. I believe it's the first marked site past the kite board uh, area, and so we're just south of that. But let me tell you, once again, it is a beautiful site full of lush soft coral, as well as a lot of other good things. But uh, as I mentioned before, this is Liz's favorite dive site, so I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about why she likes it so much and why you absolutely need to dive Vista Blue. This is one of my favorite dives because of all of the sea life that's here. You see schools of fish. Um, a couple of times that we've dived this site, we've seen bait balls that have hundreds or thousands of fish in them and just they'll swim all around you and it's a, it's a pretty amazing experience. Um, so they were, there are tons of schools of fish out here. Um, see your typical trumpet fish, parrot fish, stuff like that. The coral itself is really great. There's a ton of it everywhere. I really like the shallows. Um, there's a ton of stuff to see there. Uh, if you look under some of the soft coral, you can find things like sharp-tailed eels. You can find puffer fish. You can find anemones. Uh, there's a lot to see there. One thing to watch out for is there's a lot of fire coral in the shallows. So just keep an eye out on that, especially on entry and exit. There are some really big patches of fire coral. So make sure when you're swimming out or when you're coming back in that you keep an eye on out for fire coral. But otherwise, it's just really beautiful in the shallows and there's a ton of sea life. Like Liz said, it is an absolutely beautiful site. Tons of good sponge life too. I really love the site. Uh, I think Liz said it best and gave you some great reasons to come down here and dive Vista Blue. So right now, let's take a look at everything topside. Here we are topside at Vista Blue. There is plenty of parking, just tons of space around here to park. So no need to worry there. One thing to keep in mind though, this is a sea turtle nesting area. So be sure not to go by or past the big rocks with your vehicles uh, and other items. Um, please be careful in this area. Once again, it is a sea turtle nesting area. Let's walk up closer to shore and show you where we're going to enter. Access to the Vista Blue dive site cannot be easier. You'll just walk through the big rocks here out to the shoreline. It's a nice sandy beach, one of the few sandy beaches here on Bonaire. Uh, sometimes you'll see some locals just hanging out or tourists alike getting some nice beach time but you'll see here nice sandy shoreline very little rock and coral rubble so I think you're going to enjoy this one but let me show you this dive site pretty simple entry Liz is going to demonstrate for you and you'll notice it's very nice packed hard sand easy to walk on but I'm still going to recommend that you bring your walking stick and I'll show you why Back to solid ground Yeah, I get up And I before right back down That's right, folks. It is easy to fall here. And why is that? Because it looks so nice. But if you see, once you enter the water, there are ridges in the water and ankle-twisting holes. It is very uneven. So plenty of opportunity to fall once you reach into that water. 
And let me tell you, the, the holes are big, the holes are deep, so make sure you use your walking stick. You won't need it until you get to the water, but you will need it once you get in the water, and you'll need it getting out as well. Surfer swim out to the mooring buoy. Um, that's a great navigational marker. The mooring pin at the very bottom is in about 25 feet of water, so it really makes for a nice navigational marker. Um, swim either left or right, depending on the current, or north or south. Then on the way back, um, swim back along the reef around the 25 foot area which is beautiful um, so another good reason to do that find the mooring pin then come on back on the compass heading you took before you descended okay Liz is gonna show us how easy this entry can be as you see super sandy just like a beach she's just walking right in easy as could be right you're wondering why in the world does she have that walking stick? Certainly, I won't need a walking stick for this dive entry, but as I mentioned before, never hurts to have it. Especially when it's wavy like this, you really can't see what you're getting into. And she's about to come to the area that is very uneven under your feet. There's some rocks there. If you have these ankle twisting holes, you have these ridges in that substrate area. I know it doesn't look like she's doing much, but I promise you, she's feeling with that walking stick. She's getting her balance, but it's as simple as that. Exit the same way you got in, and you'll be good to go. Use that walking stick. Once again, it's hard to see when the waves are like this, and especially if you don't have your polarized sunglasses on, you really can't see what's there. So make sure you use that walking stick. You'll be just fine. As soon as you get to where Liz is right now, it's Sandy Beach again and could not be easier. Well, folks, that's just about gonna do it here for Vista Blue. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you found it informative. If you did, let us know. Let us know in the comments what was most helpful. Give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. Maybe you've dived Vista Blue yourself and you've got some comments for your fellow divers. Put those down in the comments section too. But thanks so much for watching this video. Guys, Liz is ready to dive, so am I. So I'm gonna gear up and get in and we'll see you at the next dive site.